Well, here we are down on the boundary line with John Hastings. Another good over there by the South Australians. It's really ebbing and flowing this game. Yeah, it is, mate. I mean, you don't see too many maidens in uh, 2020 cricket, but, uh, mate, going in eight and over, and we just lost like so one down, got a little one in the shed. Did you have a chat about what sort of score would be required out here at the Adelaide Oval? I think sort of any score on the board in the finals is uh, a pretty good one, but, uh, you know, somewhere around 160 would be nice. 50 off the first six overs, obviously looking fairly good at the moment for the picks. Yeah, absolutely, mate. As I said, we've got a lot of good hitting in the shed, and Huss is in good form, so, uh, mate, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Four O's remaining, five for 119. Here we are with Bobby Quine here. Good over again. How's it going out there, mate? What's it doing on the track? Uh, the wicket's actually pretty good batting wicket, so uh, look, hope we, hopefully we can post at least 160. Um, defendable target and then and rock and roll them. Games, of course, can turn very quickly in 2020, be it a good over batting or bowling. Good over here, all of a sudden a big total. Yeah, as I said, 160s, uh, you know, runs on the board in a big game and uh, look, hopefully that counts for a bit. Sean Tate back on for the Redbacks. Tough to face out there. He's pretty quick. Yeah, he's very quick. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out, but this could be a crucial couple of overs for us. Uh, you know, sometimes he leaks some runs and sometimes he gets wickets, so hopefully he can leak a few runs here. Well, good luck, Bobby. Have it goes well for the Bush Rangers' point of view. Thanks, Peter.